I'm Brian Hixenbaum with United Trailers, and today we're going to show you our new WJ model. This model is uh, named after the founder of United Trailers, Warren Johnson. So you come over here towards the front. This is a 714 model. The framing here for the stone guard, slant nose, both are standard options on this model. If you look at the tube framing here, we have a four inch frame, 16 on centers all the way around. Okay, over here we have the RV door opening, 32 inches wide, 72 inches tall. Um, every every WJ trailer will have a 400 series RV door. This is the opening for it. We got two frame walls. We have a five inch spread, torsion axles. Torsion axles are standard on this trailer. You come to the back, you see a couple plates back here. We are bolting down D-rings on this trailer. So every trailer will have four bolt on D-rings. The WJ, we have two inch corner posts with a 97 and a half inch opening. Plenty of room for your side by sides. We also have seven foot interior height. Another nice option is the rear wing. Rear wings are standard on the WJ. Once we get over there to see the finished product, you'll be impressed. Hey everybody, Justin Nagel with United Trailers. We're unveiling our new WJ model. Uh, this is going to replace our XLVs. A lot of upgrades. 100% slant nose on these trailers. That's going to be on the roof and on the stone guard. Uh, that's going to give you that look that everybody's looking for. Uh, aerodynamics, all those kind of things. Black trim is actually going to be an option. We got it on all the trailers that we built here for these uh, prototypes, but you're actually going to have a uh, mill finish on those. Nice metal look uh, with, the, with the black as an option. Stone guard is going to be black here on this one. Nice angle cut. And we also have this J trim molding here. Older trailers just had the cut of the metal, didn't have the trim to finish it off. We're actually gonna put the little extra into it and finish it off, give it a nice look. The big improvements that we did here is actually this front is one piece of metal that we did a bend on. Instead of having it two pieces with screws all the way down, you have those ripples all the way down. It's one piece, we bend it around. If you follow me, we actually take this second piece and wrap this around to the side. So before, you'd have the piece here, and it would bend right here, short little bend, with screws all the way up and down. That's gone. This is a nice, clean look, and it's a full wrap around onto the next sheet. Where it's all tape, no screws. All right, now we're gonna go around the sides of the trailer here. Once again, if you take a look, we have the new four inch trim that's gonna be on all of these trailers. This is black, like I said, and that'll be an option to be mill standard. We're gonna move around. One thing that's new here, aluminum holdbacks on all trailers is going to be totally standard. No more of the plastic, those break when it gets cold. We don't wanna deal with that. Customers don't wanna deal with that. So we're moving on up from there. Next you'll see, this is a seven wide trailer. The new standard on this trailer is going to be seven foot interior height. On those six wide trailers, we're going six six as a standard. And on the five wide, it's gonna be six foot interior. Now, those were always six foot interior heights. You had to add height to get your side by sides and toys in there. No more, we're going standard across the board. This door, this is the new standard door on all the models. This is a 32 by 72 inch. RV door, 400 series. This is not the light duty door, this is the nice door. We're going all in on it, across the board, all trailers will have that door. Keep moving back, you will now see that we have a five inch spread axle on uh, all seven wide trailers. They're torsion, 100% torsion axles. These will all be 3,500 pound axles on this WJ model. We have the new rounded fenders here, and you'll see, we have a new light here on our fender. We used to have the cords coming across the top and you could see the channel going across the top of the fender. All those wires are now underneath. So you don't see it, all you get is this good looking light here on top. Don't wanna miss this shiny feature here. All trailers that we build are gonna come now with Lynx black and silver wheels. That's across the board. No more steel, spares, all tires period. Lynx, they're gonna be shining, that's standard. If you just took, take a look at the entire trailer, it's 100% screwless. This is our entire line. We're moving away from screws. We're not gluing. This is a 3M tape. 3M will audit, make sure we're applying it correctly. Those uh, posts that Brian talked about, it's all tube on the inside. That gives us plenty of uh, area to grip that tape to. Gives us a nice good stick so, that, so you don't have to worry about all your seams popping. This is something that we're doing across the board. It's a great new feature. Same with the roof. We have a new tape that's going across the roof bows. Those are also going to be tube. And no more of that roof adhesive. A lot of times when you get the, the roof pressed down, you would get the, the adhesive gooping down the sides and dealers would have to scrape it off. That's, that's ugly. Nobody 
wants it, uh, where you're not gonna have to worry about that anymore. All of the single axles will have a drop down jack, but the tandem actually is not going to be standard because the spread evens out the load a little bit more. The rear wing is a feature that used to be an option that was added a lot for, for customers with side-by-sides, everything like that. That's now a standard on these seven wide trailers. Uh, it's going to have a United logo laser cut into it. And right here, we actually have the new logo for the for the WJ. It says Warren Johnson on it, so we want to honor the guy that started our company. Another thing that we did here on this back end, kind of like the front with where it was screwless and we wrapped around the corners. Before we had to end the metal and we had screws all the way up and down this end. Now we call this the Howie Corner. Howie's one of our guys, key guys in production, and he thought of an easier way to do this that looks a lot better. We're actually taking this end sheet and we're wrapping it around the end. No screws. And if you look, it's a nice edge all the way up and down. So it's a good feature, makes it easier to do, makes it look a lot better so uh, it's the Howie corner around here on the ramp door you'll see it's all aluminum grab handles those plastic ones just like the holdbacks we were upgrading a lot of them but dealers that did not you get it in the cold get a good pull on it and that plastic can snap we don't want to deal with that anymore so they're all gonna be black aluminum um, you'll notice here this ramp door is going to be wider you'll notice it when I open it, it it's uh, we actually went from a four inch corner post now to a two inch so about four inches wider you're gonna be 79 and a half inches wide on this door so we'll open it up and check that out black hardware here Take a step back and you'll see those corner posts, nice two inch corner posts, gonna give you that nice clearance. Your side by side is gonna have no problem going up in this trailer. So really, all LED lights, I think we've covered basically everything on the exterior. Uh, I'll be passing it on to Marina. She'll teach you a little bit about what we got going on inside. Hey guys, I'm Marina Slavin. I'm in the sales and marketing department here at United Trailers. And I'm gonna show you the interior of our new WJ model. On the walls, we're using 3 8 inch plywood. On the floor, we're using 3 quarter inch plywood. you're going to have the option of either a ramp door or double rear doors. The ramp door is going to be 3,000 pound capacity, whether it's a five wide, six wide, or seven wide. On the seven wide, you're going to have a rear opening width of 79 and a half inches, and the height's going to be 80 inches. As you can see, we have a great model going for 2022. Uh, this trailer has a three year warranty. On top of that warranty, we have the Dexter warranty. We have the plywood floor warranty. We have the lion's head tire warranty. And lastly, the exterior tape 3M three-year warranty. So that's going to be a great warranty. The last trailer is going to last for a long, long time. Thank you.